Mesothelioma is a very rare type of cancer that develops from a thin layer of tissue covering many of the internal organs of human body. This thin layer of tissue is known as mesothelium. The most commonly affected areas of mesothelioma cancer are the lining of the lungs and the chest wall. The least commonly affected areas of the cancer are the abdomen and rarely it can be the heart as well. The signs and symptoms of the cancer cannot be detected on an early stage. but they include shortness of breath, a swollen abdomen, chest wall pain, back pain, feeling tired, weight loss and cough. The only definitive known cause of mesothelioma is asbestos. Asbestos can be found in various materials and when asbestos fibers are inhaled or ingested, they may become embedded in the linings of the lungs, abdomen or heart. Eventually the fibers can cause inflammation and scarring resulting in irritation. This irritation will lead to the development of mesothelioma tumors. Any amount of asbestos exposure can cause mesothelioma. The most common materials in which asbestos is found include floor tiles, textiles and composites, textured coatings, asbestos cement products, roofing felt, asbestos insulating boards, sprayed coatings on ceilings, walls, beams and columns, and loose asbestos that can be found in ceiling and floor cavity. As these materials can be used highly in only certain occupations, these occupations may experience higher rate of exposure. Mesothelioma can be caused by three types of asbestos exposure. Firstly, at-risk occupations. Workers may be exposed to asbestos on the job. High-risk occupations include shipyard workers, supervisors, mechanists and mechanics. Meanwhile, second-hand asbestos exposure is also very common. In this, asbestos may be brought home on workers' hairs, skin, and clothing, exposing loved ones to the fibers. Washing the clothes of a worker can also cause second-hand asbestos exposure. Finally, the category of veterans at risk of developing mesothelioma comes along. Asbestos is widely used throughout the military exposing Navy, Army and Air Force veterans among others to development of mesothelioma.